My name is Andy Studebaker. I graduated from Wheaton in 2008. Uh, going into my fourth season in the NFL with the Kansas City Chiefs. I play outside linebacker. My name is Pete Ittersagan and uh, I play football for the Tennessee Titans and I play corner. Wheaton had a huge impact on my life. I just, I look back at the four years that I spent here and the people that I got to surround myself with, um, starting from the top down with Coach Swider and the staff. It, um, when, I, when I came here out of high school, um, I kind of knew what I was getting into a little bit. My brother came here. I saw Wheaton change my brother. I saw the relationships that he was, that he was building, the friendships he had, um, the football experience that he had, the education he was getting, and, um, and I was attracted to that. I, I, was, I was really drawn to that. And when I got here, I just jumped right in, and, and immediately you have um, coaches just pouring into you, um, both pushing you physically, uh, pushing you to be the best that you can be on the football field, but I think more importantly, you just have them pouring into you um, personally, on a personal level, or whether spiritually, whether it be character, character development, stuff like that, that you just, that is just, man, that's really attractive stuff. And um, that stuff changes you over the course of four years. I think one of the most, one of the most impactful things that Coach Swider told me what, before I even came here was he said, he said, go visit a bunch of places and then, um, Go to a place that is full of people that you want to be like. And if you if you uh, are real honest with yourself, Wheaton's a pretty unique place. And and I saw that and I saw the difference that it offered. And so I just jumped in, man, and, and four years of that, of, of people pouring into you and sacrificing their time for you and their energy and um, what, what the coaches did here for, for the players and what they continue to do, all the effort that they put in and all the energy they do, man, it, it prepares you and impacts you. Um, it impacts you while you're here, but it, man, like I said, it continues on. Wheaton College had a, had a really, really big role in um, me developing a, as a person and a big part of uh, who I am today. And I would say, you know, um, a, ba a, a big reason why it, it, Wheaton impacted me so much was because of the coaches and because of Coach Swider. Um, these, these godly examples and role models for me were just people that genuinely cared for me and they, were, they weren't just in it for themselves, they weren't just in it for, to win football games. Um, and these men, you know, ultimately made me a priority in their lives and whenever they need, I needed something, you know, they would drop whatever they were doing to uh, just chop, talk with me or to encourage me or pray with me, you know, or whatever the case may be. Um, and so the coaches uh, at this place are different, man. I mean, I can't tell you, um, I've been around a lot of different teams and the guys here are different and it's, and it's, and it's hit home with me in a lot of different ways. Um, another, big, another reason why this place has impacted me is because of the people, because Wheaton attracts a special person and um, that's why I came here, is because I, I wanted to be surrounded around people that I was, that that um, I wanted to be like, and ultimately, you know, college these days gets gets portrayed as something, um, you know, as a four year you know party or uh, you know four years to um, you know just have a good time, and um, you know at Wheaton, you know, it was an awesome experience, and we had we had a blast, and whatever we did, um, but it went much deeper than that surface level stuff that. I didn't want to get caught up in, and the friendships that I have to this day with the people I created um, are just really deep and, and really um, something that I'm really grateful for. And, and you know, from going to the weddings, you know, next week and I get to go to a wedding to uh, text messages to phone calls to stuff like that. You know, these guys who are guys like uh, guys like us who just you know, who are looking to, to looking to become better football players, looking to become better men, you know, looking to honor Christ and whatever we do. And so you put these people together and, you know, you really can relate with them. And um, I think that was really special and how it impacted me a lot was the friends for sure and, you know, the coaches. Being at Wheaton prepared me to, to go on um, everyone's gonna leave here. You know, the thing about Wheaton is you, you're gonna graduate and you're gonna leave this place. And so 
what did you gain from here? How did a lot of people ask? How did how did being at Wheaton prepare you for um, for life in the NFL? Um, what what was unique about Wheaton that you think helps you in the NFL? And I think that's kind of a twofold question for me. Um, there's definitely a physical component, a football side of that. There's a lot of things I learned in football that I carry with me today. For example, um, I, when I came in as a freshman, I I was 200 pounds, uh, DN, wasn't big enough to play DN yet. I knew I wasn't gonna get a lot of playing time my freshman year and the coaches were basically saying, you know, buy in, continue, continue, just just push on. You're gonna, you're gonna get your chance. Keep investing right now. Um, keep putting money in the bank, as they kept saying. Just, just, it's like putting money in the bank. You're not gonna get to draw on it now, but the day that you do get on the field, you'll have that experience and that time that you put in to draw from. Um, so, so that really prepared me to enter the NFL because as soon as I left here, I was back to basically being a freshman again. Uh, I didn't know the playbook. I had never played a snap at, at linebacker, which is what I play now. And so, man, I really drew on that experience and the people. I just remembered how hard Coach Swider pushed me and how much they, he believed in me. And, and Coach Peltz and Coach Sandberg um, were my position coaches. And, and just, just the little things that they taught me to, get, to persevere when things are tough. I, I continue using that stuff, especially my rookie year going forward. And then you have the other side of how Wheaton prepared me spiritually to do what I'm doing. Um, I don't think what I do is, is any more important or any maybe even different than anybody else that has a job, but I just think that um, the values that I learned here, um, having moral courage and things like that, that, that Coach Swider is just, continually imparting wisdom on all of us and you know that some of the best some of the things I remember most about Wheaton football had nothing to do with the actual football field some of the most memorable things that I was taught here had to do with coaches taking time out of a football meeting to teach us about how important marriage is or, or how important living with integrity is and how, how important our character is and so you think Yes, Wheaton prepared me physically, and we played a lot of games and, and won a ton of games here. Um, I got bigger, I got stronger, and it pushed me hard. But on the other side of that coin was um, were, were coaches pushing me spiritually um, to pursue a relationship with Christ, a deeper relationship with God. And and when you have those two, when you have those two things combining together, you have you have a very unique place in Wheaton, and it's going to prepare you um, very well for whatever you're going to do. Whether it's businessman, doctor, husband, father, NFL player, um, it, it doesn't matter what you do. That that combination of of, um, of things that the coaches are putting together here makes Wheaton a unique place. I would say something that a lot of people see in me in the NFL is my work ethic and how important um, football is to me and how much passion I have for the game and that, that, that didn't just didn't happen overnight that was something that I learned here at Wheaton and um, Wheaton is no joke in, in how we work and I've spent the whole off season down there in the weight room and you know running with them and um, they, they prepare you to make football plays on Saturdays ultimately and they prepare you how they prepare you to um, and they teach you how to work and if you're not willing to do that, then then they don't they don't even bother, um, you know, looking at Wheaton because that's not the type of, that's not the type of player that Coach Swatter is looking for. And um, that's something that really really gets me fired up is the things that I was able to learn here, um, you know, in the weight room on the field has has literally carried over into my experience in the NFL in such a big way. And um, you know, when it's something means something to somebody. You, you, you don't you, you really work hard at it and um, I learned that here at Wheaton and um, it's been awesome in the midst of a lot of ups and downs in the in the NFL my NFL journey um, just to, just to hold to that passion to hold to the, the idea that um, you know sometimes things aren't gonna go your way but you still got to keep grinding you still got to keep pounding and you still got to keep working and um, that's you know that you can apply that to a lot of different areas of your life, and um, it kind of just makes it, it just fits in a little bit more with what I do for a living and what I was able to do at Wheaton. And so Wheaton definitely has definitely prepared me for my for my journey here in, in, in uh, playing on first playing on Sundays and the competition that you 
are exposed to here is often gets undermined and um, how big is the gap I mean you you can you, you could you I mean th th that's hard to answer but it's uh, there's a lot of good football players out there you know one o'clock in McCauley Field um, you know comes some fall fall Saturday and uh, you know the coaches are unbelievable at no the knowledge of the game and at teaching you the game and you know you're gonna develop into a really good football player if you come here and you know, and, and come when you're a senior, you know, you're, uh, you're not going to have regretted coming here.